appropriately independent hall which is right behind me god bless america god bless america What's up, YouTube? It's the old BA himself, Brian Katona here. I've got a geocaching adventure with Stick Sport Girl. She's a graduate student in Philadelphia, and at the end of her semester, we did two uh, adventure labs in Philadelphia. One is Birth of a Nation, and the other is the Philadelphia Arts Geolab Cache. Lots of fun here. Um, lots of sightseeing in Philadelphia. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, we've had a lot of fun doing uh, the Adventure Lab series of caches, and we'll need to do some more of these as we've got snow in our particular area. I'm going to be making, uh, finding hidden um, containers, etc., quite difficult until the snow melts. In any event, two geo cache. Adventure Lab series from Philadelphia. Hope you like the video. If you do, give us some thumbs up. Always consider subscribing down below. And as you well know, the BA is up on Instagram. Thanks a lot for watching. There'll be some more uh, Adventure Lab geocache series coming out shortly. Sorry for the muffled sound and a little bit of traffic noise. This is City Hall in Philadelphia, and you can see the Christmas tree here. Ho, 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 from the city of brotherly love. And you know what we like to do sometimes to Santa here in Philly. Behind me, it's called Let's Do Some Laundry. Okay. Um, and the hint is you will find a plaque at the base in the stairwell. What is the last name of the artist? What's the last name of the artist? Is the, okay. All right, let's go down. Okay. You type. You can see the plaque. Okay. O L D E N B U R G. Yep. Are we get a picture of the two of us in front of the sign? Yep, cat. Okay. You can see the love sign, and then here is that flag. It's the 35th president, John F. Kennedy. 30, right, so that's clue number two. All right. <laughs> Next stop, and this is Government of the People. So behind me, you can see the sculpture, and what it actually is, is an inverted pyramid of human arms, legs, and torsos. That is what the Government of the People appears to be at first glance. So it's an interesting piece of art, and the clue that we're looking for is, what year did the artist die? 1973. That's what it looks like, 1973. All right, and that is it. All right, everyone. So now we are at our next stop. We're right, um, actually, in between the two buildings of the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Art. And behind, or actually in front of me, rather, is going to be the paint torch. And behind me... There's the paint torch. Famous thing here in Philadelphia. The tip lights up at night. So if you ever hear at night, it lights up. Behind me is what's called the crash site, um, and this is dedicated to um, a U.S. Navy gunman tracker plane. Um, and the hint here is, what is the tail number of the plane? Numbers and letters. So it looks like N N four three six D F. You guys can see the letters and the numbers on the plane on the tail of the plane there. Yep, that was it. Okay. All right. So as we're doing this adventure lab catch, you can see the Reading Terminal Market. We're here by the Philadelphia and Pennsylvania Convention Center. You can see here's the sign of Chinatown in Philadelphia. Pretty cool, huh? American Pharmaceutical Association for the old Padre. That certainly has paid for a lot of things and had a wonderful career. Across the street is the house where they signed the Declaration of Independence. Called the Declaration House. Very cool. Everyone, we are at the last stop of the Adventure Lab. This is called Shocking, and it's no surprise a bowl of flaming with the tea to dedicate to uh, Mr. Franklin. Ben Franklin. <laughs> so it's a pretty cool structure. We'll get some more video of it. So it says, fill, find the plaque on the ground, fill in the following a gentleman, a sportsman, and blank. So we may have to go up here to see. 
Okay, so the word we were looking for is philanthropist. Correct. Yep, and that's the Ben Franklin Bridge going across over into New Jersey, where the old BA is from. And I do have some of that brain damage. I'm allowed to say that. Okay, so we found it, and then um, we get a bonus catch out of this. So we have to go find her. What do we yes, have to? There is a bonus catch, and I'm gonna bring that up right now. Hold on. Now, I need to go, so this one, there's, um, they gave us clue words at each place that we went to, so I have to put that into a tracker on the geocaching website, and then that will give me the, uh, final location of the bonus catch. So I had to put, you had to put four words in there. What were they? Five words. I had to put in bicentennial, yep. flying, kite, laundry, love. Okay. And, and that gave me this final coordinate of this north 39, 57, 299, west 075, 08, 978. So I'm going to put that into Google Maps and see where that takes me. And we're going to try to find that bonus catch. So we are here attempting to find the, uh, Adventure Lab Art in Philly bonus catch. Um, let's see. Doesn't. Let's see. Oh, and there is a word. A hint. Let me bring up that hint. <laughs> I thought there was a hint, but. Low on black railing, no need to leave sidewalk. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So here it is. The good old magnetic key holder. We'll take a picture of it and uh, be on our. All right, everyone. So now we are back still in Philadelphia, but we're looking for a new adventure lab catch. Now, now we're looking for Birth of a Nation, and there's no better way to start a Birth of a Nation catch than in at the Declaration House, where Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. In 1776. So, this house is now a museum. Obviously, you can't go in because of COVID right now, but in non COVID times, you can go in. So, the question for this one is on a plaque on the ground, what year was the house reconstructed with funds by the National Park Service? Well, would that be 1975? Would that be right? It was reconstructed, reconstructed in 19. Yep, 19. Right. All right, let's try it. 1975. Okay, that's number one. All right, number one. All right, everyone, welcome back. We are at our second stop on the Birth of a Nation tour, and it's appropriately Independence Hall, which is right behind me. God bless America. God bless America. And this, um, it was here that the Constitution of the United States was debated, drafted, and signed. So it's a very important building in American history. The question is, in what year did Independence Hall get renovated and reopened as the National Museum? Six Sport Girl is really trying hard here. We got the we got the park rangers helping us. There we go. All it, right. So after that, uh, it's on the ground. Independence Hall is renovated in eighteen seventy. Okay, Six Sport right, Girl. We got the answer. So. We got the answer. Right, so we. Yep. That's that. Is, okay. It's the building's closed, but when you drive by, that is the Liberty Bell right there, guys. As I said it before, God bless America. Right. So we're next stop is Franklin Court, appropriately because Benjamin Franklin's house was stood here, but it was torn down in the early 1800s. But they built something to replicate it in honor of what Benjamin Franklin did for the United States and Philadelphia. So the question is, how many of the five reconstructed townhomes were built by Benjamin Franklin as rental properties in the 1780s? Well, Alright, so the correct answer is three. <laughs> Here we are. Behind me and to the side of me is Betsy Ross's house, who, uh, as many people know, sold the first American flag, and you can see it hanging in multiple places here, appropriately so. So, um, the question here is, what color are the shutters on the second floor facing the street? Oops. 
looks like they might be. I would call that white. I would as well. And that is correct. So next stop is El Fres Alley, which is the oldest continuously inhabited residential street in America. And when you walk along it, you feel as if you have traveled back in time to the 18th century. So there, this is actually a residential street. People actually live. Yep, and we're going to walk down there a bit. Yep. So we'll walk down. Uh, we have to go down because I have to get a little closer to get this bit part. I haven't either. This is very cool. Out of the 32 houses on this street, how many are privately owned? We don't know where we signed them. Okay, we'll, we'll count the businesses. 30, there's 32 homes. Yeah. Okay, let's count the businesses. Twenty-nine of the thirty-two are privately owned. Oh. All right, and that completes the adventure lab portion of this catch. But we do have and a bonus, bonus lab. Catch. Okay. <laughs> what a cool place. Yeah, this is very nice. This is very nice. I'm glad we came down here. This is very cool. Okay. So, what is the bonus? All right. Let me see. The bonus is going to be, I gotta get back on a. Uh, How about I, I'm gonna make a guess that it's Franklin's grave? How's that? It might be. It's supposed to be pretty close to here. So yeah, the, which, is, which is close to here. Okay. Might that would just be, you're asking me what, what, what I would guess. All right, let's... Okay. Hello. Hi there, how are you? Hello. What a lovely puppy. Feel free to say hi, her name's River. River. Oh, yeah. she's very attached to you right now. Those pants are really accessible to raise. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. We just met, so I think it's a, uh, it's a mutual attraction. Gotcha. Oh, that's great. Uh, thank you. Have a good rest of the day. It's about to be around the city, but we want to find it and bring it right in our trees.